Welcome to the 2016 Under-19 Men's Final Championship game between Canterbury and Auckland County's Manukau. Joining me tonight for the finals will be Leighton Hedleton, the junior Tall Blacks assistant coach. And Leighton, glad to have you tonight. Um, what are your thoughts on the, tonight's final? Uh, firstly, thank you, uh, Natu, for the welcome. Um, yeah, look, this is an exciting final. Um, both teams have been the two standout teams of the tournament. Um, yeah, I guess like what we're looking at is probably uh, a lot of structure versus a lot of brawn um, in terms of Canterbury um, playing a very structured game, looking to get specific shots, and um, the Auckland County's team uh, pretty much just looking to beat you up a little bit um, <laughs> and, and try and try and attack the rim. So it's going to be an interesting final. Um, I hope it's close and, and we get a bit of excitement out of it. Yeah, both teams match up really well uh, in terms of size. Uh, uh, both both teams have really solid backcourt combinations and um, it'll be interesting to see ha how they play each other with um, especially watching them both play in the semis last night. So um, Canterbury have um, been the, the team form team of the tournament. Um, I, I think they've, they've played really well in terms of offense, their, their structure, they're composed. Um, at the same time, they're a strong perimeter shooting team with Matty Jukes and Toby Gululi, so we've got to be careful. You know, Auckland County's Manukau have got to be really careful with that, because, and they've got the size inside too. Um, Auckland County's Manukau, their strength obviously inside with Joel Vaingana, and also the Arua brothers, they're, they've been dominating um, inside the power game for, for Auckland County's Manukau. Yeah, I guess uh, those of you who are watching it online uh, right now, you'll see the lineup for Auckland County's Manukau. Um, you've got Randy Savari, who's actually not here. Uh, so he's been replaced by Suafi Fatialofa. Uh, number six, uh, Zan Lilua Hughes at five, Caleb Ruha at seven, Tavita Latu at eight, explosive, um, aggressive guy, Lisey Ko uh, at nine, uh, Sueli a.k.a. Joel Vianina, uh, 12, Samuel Arua, Samson, his brother, Arua at 13, uh, Tuiafi Simisi, uh, Tuiafi Fifi, he's at uh, 14, and Connor Woodbridge, who a lot of people don't know, Connor Woodbridge, he's uh, spent the last couple of years over at IMG Academy in the States, um, his family's based out of Auckland, uh, so yeah, he managed to scrape in the team, so they've, they've had, got a good line-up there. Uh, for Canterbury, We've already talked about a couple of them, but uh, Jordan Mann, we're at number four. Jaden Chan at number five. Good outside shooter, good organiser of their offence. Uh, Matty Jukes, yeah, he, he can get, get buckets when you want him to. Uh, yesterday in the semi-final, what was he... Uh, Four of seven in the in the third quarter from from deep, so keep an eye out for him. Uh, ben Harris at seven, Toby Galuloy, uh, he got it done for Canterbury yesterday, uh, inside outside, just composed. Uh, definitely somebody to look for. Sam Lee's at nine, good defensive presence. Uh, Jack Ansel a bit of bit of a bruiser inside. Patrick Roger at 21, Angus McWilliam, the big kid, uh, wearing number 23, and number 24 is Carl Isett. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a great matchup. Um, if you look at a uh, bit of history between these guys, uh, this unit for Auckland County's Manukau won the under 17s two years ago. Uh, Canterbury have got a number of guys backing up from last year's win. So, yeah, good competition ahead. Good competition, definitely. Uh, I was impressed watching Canterbury in the semis yesterday with their second unit. You know, Jordan Chan, Chan came on, and uh, Jaden Chan came on, and, and made some things happen. And same with Patrick Roger. Um, so they've got a, a good, strong bench. Um, one of the unsung heroes in that starting lineup was, for me, was Sam Lee's. Um, he's been steady all Agreed. tournament, yep. um, and uh, he's impressed me watching him in the semi-finals yesterday. Yeah, yeah, and, and conversely, when you like relatively easy win for Canterbury yesterday, they played so well that you know they've got a racked up a big score against Otago um, and and Auckland County's uh, eked one out over a, a hot shooting Waikato um, probably due in part to Samson Arua coming in and grabbing a whole lot of rebounds and just being big and strong around the hoop so um, there's obviously a bit of game plan around that and to utilise the, uh, the, the Arua brothers strengths um, and their strength is their strength so uh, yeah it's going to be interesting to see how we go I looked to Zan Lelewa Hughes uh, to um, really get it going for Auckland Counties. He can get buckets in a hurry, um, but if he's cold, he's cold. So, And he proved a little bit of that yesterday. He was pretty cold, but then when he needed to, he got buckets. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, we're two, two minutes 40 away from what should be an intriguing battle. 
coaching styles? Yeah, Anthony Keong, he's, you know, he's been, you know, yesterday with Waikato staying in the zone a lot. You know, we had a lot of um, short corner looks with uh, Sam, Samuel Arua. He was quite effective with that short corner, shooting that little J, a little bit of high post, high low action in that zone. Um, interesting to see with Canterbury. I think Canterbury will play them in a little bit of man. They'll mix it up. Play a bit um, of press. Yeah, a bit of press action there as well. So, um, yeah, interesting to see how, how both teams will come out early in this game. Yeah, I don't, I don't see counties wanting to, or Auckland County, sorry, to, I don't see them wanting to really push the ball or get it into an up and down game. Mm. Their game seems to be more of a half court, take your opportunities. Um, sometimes their best offense is a rebound, yep. <laughs> you know, so um, that's just the way they are. They just, they play to their, their own strengths. But Canterbury definitely want to get up and down and put some pressure on these boys to, to um, you know, keep the pace of the game more in their favour. Um, it's good to see a bit of a crowd in tonight. So um, expecting some noise. Um, and Canterbury looking to go back-to-back -back winners on the Under-19 Championship this year. Absolutely. Key players to look out for for both teams. Canterbury, Toby Galuloy. It's got to be one of the guys that yep. they, if they can get him going early, that, that'll keep them going. Um, yeah, look for Matt Dukes to maybe make a couple of outside shots. I guess uh, I've already talked about Zahn Hughes for Auckland Counties um, and potentially uh, Soeli Vianina. If he can get going, he's got a nice little mid-range shot. Um, and if he can stretch the defence out, then that'll be good for them too. But yeah, good good history between the two two sides. Not a real rivalry, but a good history. Um, both proud uh, regions. And uh, yeah, here we go. We've got starting fives coming out right now. So for Canterbury, uh, Toby Galuloy, number eight. Um, number nine, Sam Lees. Uh, and number 12, Jack Ansell. Number 23, Angus McWilliam. And yep, Matty Dukes coming in at number six. So pretty predictable starting lineup. Just waiting for the Auckland County's voice to listen to Coach Keong's final words. Interesting. Right. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Carl is, uh, excuse me. Um, no? Carl, is it? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I was, no, Angus McWilliam. Yeah, I've been impressed by him as well. His yep. size and length, athleticism as well. He's going to change some shots inside. So Joel, Joel Vane. Nana is going to, you know, th that's a great matchup. Both those guys, 6'9", 6'8", 6'9", so yeah. be a good head-to-head -head matchup. Yep. Uh, Auckland County starting with uh, Samuel Arua, uh, Zan Hughes, Kijong uh, Sloan, Sloan uh, Joel Vianina, and Laseko. Our referees for tonight are Taylor Munson and James Campion. So um, all the best to both teams, and as they say in the wrestling, let's get it on. So just in case you are not aware, Auckland County are in the black and... They get uh, position early with uh, Kijon Sloan. Yep. Samuel Aruda, he's driving. Yep. Got a pitch out now. 2-3 zone by uh, Canterbury. Canterbury early. So maybe a little bit of a pitcher out of... Uh, here we go. Corner jumper from Kijon Sloan. No, it's a Seiko. Oh, yeah, nothing Seiko. but air. So that'd be one of the things that I, I would think Canterbury would, would like to happen is for a player like him to be... Um, shooting outside jump shots. Mc Angus McWilliam, McWilliam misses. Two oh, there's Jack Ansell and here we go with Key John Sloan. Yep. The ball down Pretty the controlled right now. Baseline. Good pass out. Zahn Hughes. He misses that jump misses shot. That one. Rebound Matty Jukes. So here comes Toby Kululi. He's pushing the ball down the floor. He's looking to get to the basket. Oh, Blocking foul. Caught on the Seiko. Seiko. So James Campion with the call. To say Cole with a blocking foul. Just seeing Toby Galuli pushing the ball out there, just trying to get something early. If he can get an opportunity, trying to get to the basket. And unfortunately, let's say Cole just a little bit slow on that close out. Yep. He picks up the foul. So Toby Galuli get, get blocked blocks. by Samuel. Arrua. Arrua. And here comes Kijon Sloan on the fast break. Takes the basket. She's attacking. Oh, a little bit Rebound sloppy me. going to the basket with one hander. Yep. Trying to keep, create some contact. And Samuel Arrua Samuel with, Arrua three. with a three. Joel keeps it alive, but unfortunately straight to Matty Jukes, and he walks it up. Yep, good control here by Canterbury. Backdoor pass. Nice Another pass missed layup. Sam Lees. Yep. So a good look there. Absolutely. 
that's why you know, Sam Lee's he's impressed me. He's sort of the glue for this Canterbury team. Yeah, great defensively. Uh, Short Sam, corner. Yeah, he made all of those yesterday he's versus Waikato and did Sam Maroo, but uh, not today. We're still nil all with a minute and a half gone in the game. So both Good. lids well and truly sealed on the buckets. Sam Lee's, there he goes, uh, blocked by Joel by Nina. Yep. And here comes Key John Slow. So no score after two minutes. Yep. Both teams feeling each other out. Just yep. trying to get over the nerves. Here we go. Zan Hughes for three. For three. So you, we talked about him. We talked about how he can. He's one of these streak shooters and get it going really early. But so he's got it. He's made his set first one or two sh shots from the three point line. For sure. And here we go. So first on ball. So here's, here's Toby Gululi driving. And, and one. one. So Toby's showing his ability to put the ball to the floor and get to the basket. He's quite athletic. He's a good three-point shooter. So a good, strong, aggressive move from Toby Gululi, number eight for Canterbury. Yeah. It's 3-2 after two minutes. Yeah, just good to get to the bucket and, and create some contact and, you know, gets rewarded by going hard to the basket. So Auckland County's not particularly interested in, in pushing the pace like we talked about. And uh, Canterbury, okay with letting them bring the ball up, so that's an interesting tactic. So here we go. So here's stepping out of court. Okay, Isn't it so amazing how many, yeah, times how many times players have stepped out of court over the last two days? And it's just court awareness, be aware of where you are on the floor. Just, just that's unforgivable. You know, you're yeah. in the finals. You're in the finals, and you're stepping out of bounds. That's yeah. crucial. Yes, but you know, like he's lucky he's done it. Two and a half minutes into the game. If it was two and a half minutes to go in the game, give the Sam ball up. Lee's, it's look, he's, he's oh. strong. Oh, second foul by Laseko. So yeah, it looks like he'll probably go to the bench. Sam Lee's great, strong move yeah. to the bucket. And here we go. We've got uh, Suyafi uh, Fatialofa checking in to Laseko. Well, one would imagine. Um, yep. So Lee's makes his first shot from the foul line. It's 4-3 uh, to Canterbury. Over Auckland County's Manukau. Sam leaves for the second. And yep, it's good. Nice and solid. Nothing but net. Yep. A substitution coming in. Here comes Fatih Lofa in for SI call with a second foul. No, they're taking off Kijon Sloan. Oh, Kijon Sloan. Yeah, so. So here we got a Canterbury back in that 2 3 zone. It's a little bit extended, match up zone. Jack Cancel down the back with Toby Gululi and um, Angus McWilliam in the middle. Here comes Hughes, so Hughes again with another three. So he's on fire tonight. He's, yeah. he's feeling it. Yeah, I think he's he's once he gets going on offense, he gets a lot of confidence and um, he, he does, not shy to shoot it. So, um, so here's Toby Gululi driving on the drive. Pitch out to Sam Lees. There's Sam the glue. Lees. Great shot. Sam Lees is the glue to this team. He's uh, he's nailed that one. So we've got Absolutely. a score of seven or six. And there's a little bit of feistiness going on inside with uh, Angus McWilliam and Joel Vainaina. Yeah, not allowing anybody just to walk it. through the, and here the comes keyhole. Hughes taking it at McWilliam, but good yeah. hands by him to keep. And Sam Lees again, nice Euro. Oh, unfortunately, and there's Gululi on the boards. Yeah. Angus McWilliam's on the board as well. Yes. Oh, here's Matty Jukes. Yeah. He's their shooter. Mid-range jumper. Big strong, yeah, the Auckland County's ball. Yeah, the one thing about Auckland County is, is they don't go back on defence very fast, so if you can get out in front of them, you know, you, you're generally going to get yeah. pretty good shots at a layup. So um, here we go, Lasseco's just subbed out yep. for Kijon Sloan to come back in, so pretty tactical there. He's obviously, Coach Kiong's just had a chat with Kijon and just yep. talked about something there. Short corner to Vianina. Not allowing that reversal pass to happen. Jones Sloan with oh, the that three. looks good too. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're catching fire from this three point line. That's so that's 9 7. Is it 9 7 to Auckland County's Manukau. And Coach Izzet may look to, Paul Izzet may look to change that up, change the tactic, get out of the zone. Here's Matty Jukes for three. He answers. Anything you three. can do, I can do better. Yeah. Absolutely. And he, he we talked about him knocking down shots as well. So. Sort of going to plan right now, as, as as you would think it would happen. Extending the zone. Yep. Fatih Lofa across the Kijon Sloan into the short corner for Samuel oh. Arora. 
Yes, Keith. Well, stepped out again. again. He stepped out again. That's unforgivable. <laughs> We've just talked about that. We've just that, talked like, about that, so just being aware of where they should be on the floor, and he steps out again. That's terrible. That's oh, interesting. So, so Messi uh, Tuiafi, if he is uh, back, uh, is in the game. game. He didn't, didn't play at all in the semi-final. Night, yeah, no. So, um, getting some minutes right now. So he's a fresh, fresh body. Yep. So maybe it's um, you know he's going to look to compete with uh, Angus McWilliam on the inside. The bigger body to bang with Angus. Yep. So straight away we've got some low stack picks yep. to get those shooters free. Toby Gawluli driving. He loses the handle. Unfortunately come, it's come off Kijon Sloan. Yep. And here we go. We've got 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Um, this is a good solid down screen about to happen. Yeah, box set here. Yep. Come Sam Lee's an on ball coming for him. No. Yeah, he rejects it. He rejects Sam Lee's it, drives right, nice oh, pass. A foul. Just late on the rotation, there's Samuel Arura. Yeah, yeah he dropped, he came down, but was just late on the rotation, so unfortunately got called for the foul over the back on Angus McWilliam. And that's their fourth team foul. So uh, on the penalty already. So yeah, next next foul, the, they'll be shooting shots, Canterbury. So um, yeah, no fouls against Canterbury Sam so Lee, far. Nice, nice, nice subtle wave off of that. Screen. Sam Lee's is playing. He's impressed me. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's got a nice hit. Nice crossover from. Oh, that's a travel. travel. Tried the Euro. Try to try to <laughs> squeeze in that seam and <laughs> yeah. get that left hand going. There just wasn't any room. No room at all. All right, Canterbury go back to that zone. Well, they've no, they've gone man to man now. They've changed up Canterbury yep. on that man to man now. Lee's out on the ball on Kijon Sloan. Good help from Toby Gululi. And here's Samisi. Oh, the first Arura foul. Driving, but fell on Toby Gawluli. So first personal there on Toby. Um, not a bad foul. Sam Arua's got some long legs. He can get a long stride through there, a good step through. So he's obviously looking to be aggressive. A stack line up here yep. on this out inbounds. A little bit of a back screen back there. Screen and Pop out for Samuel, Key John Sloan. Well, he's driving, he's going at to Toby Gawluli. Wise, wise. Yep. Nice short jumper in the lane there from Samuel. Just good patience, really. Yeah. Just up fake. Oh, there's some Missy just, oh, he got away with it. <laughs> and here we go. I don't think, uh, I think some Missy's going to win that battle, Angus. <laughs> Angus, look, he's just trying to, <laughs> yeah. to not going to not gonna move that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here comes, good steal from Hughes. He's pushing the ball down on the floor, so that's a little way. Oh. Hughes. He's open for the three. Yep. Comes back to Hughes. Swings it to Kijon Sloan. Yeah, it's oh, a lot of breakdown stuff. A breakdown. No breakdown there. Here comes Suafi Fatialofa on the drive. That's a great finish. It's a great finish. Great move from him. And that puts uh, Auckland County's up 13-10. Four minutes to go, pretty much. So here we go. Sam, Sam Lee's. Lee's. Feel like he's nice. got an advantage. Yeah, he's. Oh, oh. it's been called for a foul. Yes, Samisi. Yeah, he's a big boy. If he the leans enforcer. Into the enforcer. It's a lot of fun as as Samisi. Like he he plays the game with a big smile on his face. He's bit of a character. Yeah, he's a real character. Um, you know, you're not going to get more than a good couple of minutes out of him <laughs> at a time, to be fair. But um, he's definitely a good glue guy. Like he he does his part on the bench if if he has to. And um, yeah, if he's required to come in, he'll give it his everything. So. Yeah, you yeah, see him out he's there. got five fouls to give. He's given one up yeah, he's already. Given one so, up already. Um, he'll make his, he's made his presence felt in the first three minutes he's been on the court. So you know. yeah. sure, good shot there by Angus McWilliam. That's a nice stroke he's he's got going on there. So we've got Patrick Roger in the game now. And he's off Sam, Sam Lee oh, saved it, him. but here we go. Hughes on the perimeter. Yeah. They're pushing it down at speed. Kijon Sloan across to Sam Samuel Arua. They're back in that zone, that 2 3 zone. Short jumper is not good. Contested short jumper over McWilliam is not advised, really. And Matty Jukes with the rebound. Here comes Gluloy. Yeah, that's. Trying to get the contact, but Sa Samuel Arua stayed with it. Yeah, it was pretty Made early in the shot clock, yeah. too, right? You don't uh, really need to force that. There's a lot of turnovers. For Auckland County's oh. oh, there's a second foul. Samisi just <laughs> the beast. Yeah, Samisi just trying to take people out here now. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, well, he's obviously making sure he doesn't score the basket. Here's another player that didn't play at all in the second semi final. Uh, Caleb Ruha is getting yeah. a chance to come in 
So uh, he checks in and Samisi... Makes you wonder if there's something going on with uh, Samson. Samson. Uh, oh, Samson's in as well. Here we go, so... Both brothers are on. Both brothers are on. Sam Lees makes the first of the two foul shots. Um, so it's 12-13. Uh, and he makes a second. So we're tied ball game here with three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Patilofa yep. bringing the ball up for Auckland County's Manuka. Yep. Canary back in that 2-3 zone. Yep. Hughes on the perimeter. Nice penetration, short corner again. Oh, Hughes. And there's Hughes in the corner, driving. Nice pass to Sampson. Other way, and yeah. he finishes. Again, just a good, solid up fake, just to get them off balance and finish strong. McWilliam didn't really want any and part of that. Gone back to man to man. So, Auckland County's Manukau in man to man. So, it's good to see them out there. Yeah, trying Andy to play. Drake's driving. Here's Sam Lees. Over to Toby Guruli. That's his three point shot. He misses. Oh, get Patil it. Patilofa with the rebound. Good pass to Samuel Arura. He's driving. And, and one. A block. That's, a, That's second a second foul. We'll have to sit. Coach Paul, is it? We'll have to think about making the sub here. And it may be Toby Guruli. We'll have to sit for a little while. Yeah. Yet. He's picked up a second foul. So we've got uh, Jaden Chan checking in for Toby Guruli. And yep. number 24, Kyle, is it checking yep. in for Angus McWilliam? So Samuel Arua makes his first jump foul shot. Yep. It's nice to see foul shots going down. We had the playoff yep. for third and fourth this morning, and it was um, it wasn't good to say the say the least. Uh, but those are those are good foul shots there. Makes a second, and that's 17-13. Yep. And, and uh, Connor, Connor Woodbridge comes in for Zan Hughes. Zan Hughes. So that's, uh, yeah, these this are good matches, matchups out here right yep, now. Definitely. So, so Wilson County's Macau back in man to man. So it's good yep. to see them in this man to man. Sam Lee's just. That's that's a great shot yep. by Sam Lee's. He's really strong, got a big first step. Yeah. Quick. Yeah, athletic. Athletic too. Back in that 2 3 zone. Canterbury continuing this all nearly at the steal there. Corner jumper for Connor Woodbridge, and he misses that. No, oh, no, he up. makes, he gets the roll. He can shoot that um, in like a catch-and-shoot situation like that. Yep. He's, he's pretty pretty handy on. Matty Jukes for three. He comes back. No, yeah. he misses that. And there's Sam Lees on the boards. That's yep. come off Can Canterbury. Yep. Yes, and it's Auckland County's Manukau ball. So two minutes, six seconds left. Auckland County's up uh, tw 20 to 15. That's uh, interesting statistic. So... Yeah, Canterbury staying in the in Short the zone. Corner. Here we go, kicking it on. There's Connor Woodbridge. He's relocating to the corner for that three-point shot. Yep. He's driving. Yep. Good pin track and kick. Samuel Overworth, short jumper at the foul line. He misses and rebound. Great strong rebound there from Patrick Roger, number 21, from Canterbury. Sam yep. Lee's organising things out the top. With the defence there, Patrick Roger. Just going underneath all the screens right now as Auckland Counties. Jaden yeah. Chan with a short jump shot. Lots of luck about his game. Yep. He's that. He's that spark off the bench. Absolutely. He'll give you. He'll give you a good sort of six eight points that you oh, nice. not necessarily oh. expect a guy to give you. No look pass there from Fatih Luff. It didn't didn't work. It was broken up. Good pass, Patrick Roger. Roger. That's a great shot. Yeah, he hits the jump shot. Oh. Canterbury right back in this game, down one, minute and five to go. You can hear the Canterbury bench selling one, one more stop, get one more stop. So focus clearly on defense if they can get that done. Driving, nice step through, and he makes the layup. He's been a rev revelation for this Auckland County's Manukau team in the semis. He, did, he played a great spell in the third quarter to get them home, and then... He's come on for Lesai Cole, and he's, he's made some good contributions. Jaden Chan misses that, but there's Patrick Roger yep, on the Cal boards. Caleb Ruha not, not boxing yeah. out, just ball watching, paying the price. 25 seconds left to go in this quarter. It's 22-21 to Auckland County's Manukau. Um, yep. Here we go, Woodbridge. Woodbridge for the three. Yeah, he that's good. It. And he can, like, like, like you said, Leighton, he can light it up from the three-point line. Yeah, he's, he's one of these guys that people... Like he comes 12th off the bench or 11th off the bench for this team right now, and 
don't expect them oh, to do anything. There. You're not going to dive it on the yeah. floor. Sam Lee's trying to cross over, but he, yeah. he just had that hand ready in the in the pocket. The interesting thing about uh, Connor Wimbridge, he spent most of his basketball career, or well, he grew up in, in Germany. His, his oh, father was over yeah. in Germany for work, and so he played a lot of uh, international uh, student basketball yep. um, with the other international students in his area. So he, he comes from an interesting background compared to a lot of these other kids who just play a lot of local ball. So yeah, that's the that's the end of the quarter. Auckland County's up 25-21. Uh, we'll see you in two. back. Those who are viewing online, we hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Um, we just, Natu and I are just having a brief chat about what's happened in the first quarter and I guess like from my perspective, uh, Canterbury probably haven't expected Auckland Counties to be so efficient from outside. Yeah. You know, um, Zahn Hughes and Connor Woodbridge uh, knocking down some threes, so um, they may, may, may be making an adjustment there. Um, I don't think Auckland Counties would be too fussed with what's happened so far, but Zayden Chan going to the basket, getting blocked. Yeah, I've been impressed with Auckland's uh, patience on offense. Yes. Yeah. You know, getting good ball reversal, and then things have opened up on the perimeter. Again, they're real patient looking at that short corner. Nice lob to Joe Rogan. Good yeah. pass there from Kijon Sloan. So they're just really patient. Look, the, you know, the bigs are looking to get in behind that zone. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, just being good. Just not not forcing any issues right now. So, so it's a six point lead, 27 to 21. Yep. Nice drive from Jaden Chan. Unfortunately, yeah. that scoop shot didn't go, and Kijun Sloan. Maybe just put off by some yeah. big bodies in the in the middle yeah. there, you know, like um, yeah. just Again. second guessing you. Good shot. Oh. oh, come on, Joel, keep your hands together, mate. <laughs> it's just a little slow on that one. Yeah, slow to pick that up. Yeah, those long arms just didn't quite get down yeah, far no. enough on that one. Yeah, Here we go. Yeah. Ice it oh, with a reversal handoff. Pretty Sam easily Lee's defended. To go on the oh, Woodbridge did a great Woodbridge's job. Doing good it? work there. He tries to jump. Oh, oh, tough shot. Sam Lee's jumps over the top of him. Yep. He's got good athletic ability, Sam Lee's as well. He's, For sure. Yep. Yeah, See. tough shot that one to make. Yep. It was pretty pretty well defended. Um, here we go, short corner. Oh, Let me see yep. top to Kijon Sloan. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. Arua. Driving oh, baseline. Driving baseline to Samisi. Yep. He's strong. He he's got fouled. Fouled by Roger. Strong moves. Very strong move. He's a strong boy, that's for sure. From Sumisi to Efiafi. Good strong move. Yeah. So, Hawking County's Manukau ball. So, yeah, they're going to go with their stack line up again at uh, the baseline of the bounce. She'll get a screen pop. Uh -huh. Oh, and to the corner. Kijun Sloan in the corner. Connor Woodbridge, he's open. He drives. He comes around the back. Nice change. Left hand. Scoop. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Good, Good defence. Good defence, yep. though. Just just staying tall and not, not reaching or doing anything silly. 
Oh, that's a good up fake. Oh, oh, a nice pass. Three, three seconds, seconds in the key. Unfortunately. I, I personally think sometimes the referees are a bit tricky happening on that call, but um, you know, I'm not refereeing the game, so. <laughs> so leading scorers after the first quarter for Canterbury, Sam Lees with eight points. Um, for Auckland County's Minical, Hughes with six. And Woodbridge from the Woodbridge corner. Six. Oh, and he's just knocked Woodbridge down again. Oh, he's talking a little bit of smack. He turns around and he sees a word to Mark Dickel on the side of <laughs> on the bench of the Canterbury team. Yep. I love that. A bit of gamesmanship from Connor Woodbridge. Yep. Jaden Chan and all the way to the basket. Nice That's drive. too easy. Soft defense on the uh, on the on ball there. No sliding of feet, just allowing him to run past him. So here we go again into Vianina. Kick out, reversal pass, going to shoot another one. It. Woodbridge is feeling it. Oh, there he is. oh and he's, he's talking he's to talking Smack, all right. More. That's four from him. Yeah, I don't think Canterbury was leading the scorer with 12 points in the game. So yeah. Connor Woodbridge. Oh, Good move by Chan. Chan, Chan reversal. Back to Patrick Roger, Patrick Roger, he misses. Yep. Aruwa with the rebound. So Connor Woodbridge, he's on fire. They've got to keep an eye on where he is on the floor. Yep. And oh, there he is, he's open again, third in a row. Can he make this? No. no it's oh, short. but they've got the O board. There's oh. Joel Vaigana, but he forgot about Jaden Chan yep. with his hands. Oh, and there's an M1. Oh, unlucky. Kijon oh. Sloan getting called for foul there. So that's his first personal. We've got Angus McWilliams checking in. Checking back into the game. Ben Harris is. Looking to check in for his first minutes. Nice one there, Sam Lees. He's, he's definitely carrying his team right now, keeping them in it. An interesting stat, first quarter, Auckland County's Manukau, five from eight from the three-point line. Here we go, Sam Lees with two foul shots. He hasn't missed from the foul line. No. So it's a 33 points to 27 lead to Auckland County's Manukau, 6.58 to go in the second quarter. Samuel Rua with a sub, so he's... he's oh, yeah, Tavita Latu in right now. Key joins slow oh. on the drive, and he'll go to the line. That's called on Jaden Chan. First personal on him. Strong, aggressive move there from Key Jones Sloan, and he'll get two shots. Key Jones Sloan. Yeah, this... This sort of play really plays into the Auckland County's team, well, in my opinion anyway, just in yep. terms of fitness and um, allowing guys to catch their breath. Uh, I think what I've seen right now is that any time a, a defensive rebound's got by Canterbury, they're looking to push the ball as fast as they can down the other yes. end and try and take advantage of that. Oh, he's going to get a second chance at the, um, at the last shot yep. there. And James Kempion, the the call. he made the call. I think he believes... Oh, oh no, no. he said he's one of the Auckland County's Manukau players stepped in too early. So, Auckland County's Manukau um, extending their man-to-man -man pressure here. Yeah, more so token than anything else, just yeah, trying to slow just them just down. Oh, oh crossed them up. He's crossing over with a pass to Patrick oh, Roger. Oh. And he misses the lap, but McWilliams is there with the rebound. Kijon Sloan oh. with the ball. Going to give it to Joel oh. Vanita and oh, a foul. foul from Patrick Roger from behind. Yeah, didn't want to give up a dunk. Yep. Yeah, there's a good feed by Kijon Sloan. Nice little in out bounce pass to Bionita. Yep. Can he make foul shots though? We just saw Kijon Sloan miss two. You know, we, the, the playoff of third and fourth this morning, if a team, either team had shot probably 50%, they would have won the game. Um, instead, it went to overtime and the shots were made in that, in that overtime. So. so here we go. We've got a miss here. Kijon Sloan missed his two shots. and. It's a zero from three from the line to not need to keep the scoreboard ticking over, and he misses that one as well. Oh, oh, another over board though. Over ball. Yeah. Now they work it outside. There's Connor Woodbridge. Yeah, it's been, been on patient. fire lately. Yep, they're in man oh. to man now. Joel, Joel getting nice away with a trap. Nice. Probably a yes, probably a carry ball. ball. He's getting away with it there, I think. Time out called. So coach Paul Isaac calling a timeout here. Yeah, I guess, um, what, what do you think he's going to be talking about? Just, um, I don't think they're going to be too worried about Joel getting the ball in the post. Um, they'll probably defend him one-on-one. -on -one. 
I'd, I'd, I'd say extending their defense out to the shooters. You know, Connor Woodbridge, he's been, he's now two three pointers in this quarter. Kevin yeah. Sloan's nailed one. So really, you know, when they're getting that short corner action and they're reversing the ball, Canby really need to extend out, yeah. rotate a lot quicker. I expect to see them in a, in a one two two yeah. half court press if they get a score. Um, something that we've seen a lot of from Canterbury yep. uh, in terms of uh, Auckland counties I think they'll probably stay in their man to man we might talk about defending on balls a little bit better but other yeah. than that you know I just think carrying a hand when you're on the perimeter it oh, just, yeah. it just uh, deters the perimeter guys from getting a shot up you know when you keep your, when your hands are down you know oh, all it down, takes is a, yeah all yeah. it takes is a second and you got it up so yeah oh and also line of sight at the hoop yep. just just doing everything you can to try and make it tough for the opposition so yeah, it'll, it'll be expected to see how uh, how Canterbury come out Is they've obviously talked about what they want to talk about they're out nice and early after the timeout yeah, so Smith's on there. Gululi's back in the game or that's yeah or the second foul oh, so oh. Oh, I, yeah, my philosophy is you pick up two your key players pick up two they sit so yeah. um, obviously coaches believe that Toby can Handle playing six minutes without picking up a third. But yeah, and also I think it's p potentially like we need somebody yeah. to get a bucket right yeah. now. So, so he's put him on. So high post entry right now. Yeah, off ball action. Chan Chan got the ball back into uh, William dribbles off his foot. Dribbles off his foot. Just too impatient. Yeah. Oh, Samisi Tuiafi just giving him a pat on the head, talking to him about that one. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we did say he likes to have a bit of fun. So Woodbridge out of the game right now. Hughes back in. Oh, it's a shakedown. Slowing. He shakes him down. Uh, not a good pass, though. He threw it at Samisi's feet. Little jump ball. Yeah. To Uifi Yuffie's feet. Yep. Not, not advisable to throw yeah. it to somebody who's six foot eight at their feet. You know, like, <laughs> they like it up yeah. in the air, don't they? they? Managed to retain position, so yep. quite fortunate on that play. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, out to uh, Latu right now. Yeah, back to Key John Sloan. Oh, Here we the go, post. into the big fella. Go to work, big fella. Nice drop step, nice strong move there yep. from to Effie Affi. He's actually got some nice post moves. Yep. Um, just He's just a bit relaxed at times. Who was that foul called? Was that called on uh, number 12? Must have been. Jack Ansel. Jack Ansel. So that's uh, Canterbury's fourth team foul. Who puts them in the bonus from, oh, puts Auckland County's in the bonus from this point onwards. Nice shot, too. Nice four minute shot. Two Efiafi. See Messi. Two Efiafi with the first one. He makes that. It's 36 27. To Auckland County's Manukau. Second shot. Misses that, oh. but Joel playing on with a rebound. Looks to drop step. He kicks it back out. And they look to run some clock now. Oh. He goes Hughes driving. Fake. Yep. Kick back out, Key John Sloan. Pretty patient. Yep. 13 seconds left on the clock right now. An on ball screen there. Crossover, Jaden Chan. Good D, keeping him in front. Oh, what a pass. Nice pass. Oh, and a foul by oh, Galuli. Picks his up his third. third. That's a huge call by the referee. And that's what happens. That is what happens. Decision to bring him back in. And a minute later, he picks up his third, and he will have to sit the remainder of this quarter. Yep. It's always a tough one, that one. As a, as yeah, a, yeah. Um, referees generally always call that one, yeah. even if it's clean. It goes back to your philosophy as a coach. You know, mine is your key player picks up two in the first half. He sits. Yeah, sits till at least the third quarter. And you've got, yeah, you can be a lot more aggressive in that second half when you've got three fouls yeah. up your sleeve. So he's probably going to have to sit in the majority of the third anyway, isn't he? Yep. Oh, another the offensive rebound. board. No. John Sloan. Oh, they call the jump ball. So, Kettery ball. It's 10 point lead to Auck Auckland County's Manukau, 37 27, 5 16 to go in the first half. Yep. Yeah, Lato just trying to get under the skin a little bit here. Yep, yep. He's just really. Oh, he's got called for a foul. I don't think they'll mind nice. that. Yep. To they be can fair. Get that one up. Token pressure here now from Auckland County's Manukau. Yep. Yeah, the referee did talk to him about that, so. Yeah, well done, Sam. Made pretty easy work of getting open there. Tavita Latu on Sam Lee. Sam yeah. Lee's look good. He's strong, Sam Lee's. Uh, good recovery from yeah. uh, Latu. Latu yeah. He's, he's he actually pretty athletic. That's yeah. what I like to see on defence. Just being niggly, disruptive. Yep. 
Not allowing. Oh. oh this is the big man. It's just so standing this, there with his hands yeah, up. Yeah, he rebound. gets a rebound. Goes Key John Sloan looking yep. at Joel Vang. Ah, he reverses it out to Latu in the corner to Hughes. He's driving, and there was. Yep, there oh, was Ansel with second foul. And there was a block. And uh, looks like Hughes, is he going to go to the yes, line? Yes, uh, with uh, Canterbury in the bonus, so um, two shots. Two shots. Definitely playing into the hands of uh, Auckland Counties right now. Yeah, and here comes Sam, Samuel Arua. Yeah. Samisi, Tuifi Yafi, a great contribution from him. Yep, yeah, good, good bonus minutes, really. Yep. So Hughes knocks down that first one. Looks a little bit more confident than he did yesterday on the foul line. Yep. Pretty quick uh, routine, just one bounce and shoot it. So, so a 12 point lead, five min just under five minutes to go in this half. So, Auckland County's Manica have done a good job of building their lead. Yep. Here's come Sam Lees. The ball picks up his dribble. It's out yep. to Matty Jukes now. Can he get Canterbury back in this game with some three point shooting? Step back three, that looks short. Yep. Good hustle, Good hustle there by Canterbury. Canterbury hustling after it. Samuel Arura yep. back to Joel Vangana. He's driving. He's travelled. Travelled again. Yeah. He's got a bit of a habit Canterbury of that. doing that. Yep. Just sort of catch and then you just skip going. Yep. So, oh, there's Lise Co coming in, kicking the, the peak sign over. Shout out to Peak for the sponsorship. Yep. Um, also to uh, New Zealand Herald. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Stream. Fantastic job. Yeah, just New Zealand Herald just did a great job of just yep. giving basketball some coverage. You know, profile. can't be enough said about that. It's good to profile the game at this level. Under 17 Nationals and now here at the Under 19 Nationals, also at the Under 15 Nationals finals day as yep. well. Matty yep. Jukes for three. Can he get them going? No, he misses that. And unfortunately comes off Jack Ansel. So Auckland County's Manukau. Yeah, good good effort on the boards. They just couldn't get that. I don't know about that. I think I think Auckland got lucky on that. They did a lot of ball watching and just managed to be in the right place at the right time. So oh, whether or not that's planned or not, I don't know. But Canterbury just back to man to man. Yep. So Wafi Fatilofa across to Hughes. Yep. Inside out dribble, going to the basket. Oh, put a block, but he's got good for a foul. So yep. fouls keep mounting here that's for Canterbury. Jokes. Picks up a foul. Picks up his first first rule. And Hughes will go to the line again. A 12-point lead, 3 minutes and 51 seconds to go in this half. Yeah. And he makes the first one. 13-point lead now. 40 to 27. Yeah, I guess Canterbury just not getting a chance no. to set up any sort of yeah. defensive pressure because they're not getting any buckets right now. So... If they, can, if they can put some points on the board, they'll be able to set up some sort of pressing defence or try and get themselves right. back in the game. Like I said, you know, look at this defence from Auckland County's Manukau. They're all active, very active, real disruptive and, yep. and challenging shots as well. So they're playing aggressively on both ends of the floor and it's paying dividends for Auckland County's Manukau. Oh, turnover. Joel, it's not part of your game, mate. Pass, no. Passing. Always. Good hands there from Suafi Fatilov and he dives in the jump ball. Good effort. Is that hustle play, that effort play yep. from Suafi Fatialofa, and they get the position arrow. So, yeah, he's done a great job. Uh, Suafi yep. Fatialofa, his role coming off the bench. Yeah, he got called in early. Yep. So, come back to get the ball. Andy Jukes is denying him. Yep. Uh, Samuel Arua. Has the ball. Yeah, he's called for a clear out. Yeah. He's driving. Look, yeah, good pitch, pitch out. out. Hughes, you know, he fakes that and he drives. Nice pass to Samuel Arua. Oh, he misses the lap, but there's Joel keeping it alive. Oh, oh good dive there by Samuel Arua. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, out of bounds. Just the effort. Effort points. Yeah. And um, Auckland County's Manukau are leading the effort points. They're just yeah, everywhere. And it just builds momentum, doesn't yeah. it? Like, just those little things. Coaches talk about it all the time. Take a charge, get a deflection, you know, dive on a loose ball. Just put in effort. And when you do it, you get rewarded. Sam leaves the jumper. He misses. Oh, Bionina getting caught for a foul. Yep. Coach Kimong now doing some substitutions. Oh, no, an offensive oh, no, foul. Offensive foul. So 
Simpson Arua now so into the was game caught for Joel Vane. Angus McWilliam get his first personal. Want to Canterbury in? They're staying in a man-to-man -man right now. Interesting. Fatilofa brings it up. Oh. oh. Sam Lee's picking up a foul there. Really tight on the fouls. Another, another two shots. So Canterbury just falling into the... You know, they've just got to realise they're in the penalty. They need to play a lot more conservatively on the ball, but they're still going after it. So yep. they haven't been able to adjust to that. They're having to talk about it right now. Down 14, two minutes, 50 to go. Uh, just having a look at the foul count right now. What I've got down here, it's uh, nine fouls in this quarter to Canterbury and two this is Auckland County. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I, I don't know if that's reflective, but obviously the score's reflecting that because mm. Auckland County's get to the line and get to put, put points on the board while there's no, no time off the clock. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty big right now. We've got to expect uh, Canterbury to come out in a, in a press after a score, right? Yeah. Like, they've Canter got to do something. Yeah, they've only scored six points in this quarter. Yep. And Auckland County's Manukau have scored um, 16. So, so it's still a low scoring quarter, but... 16-6 in the quarter to Auckland County's Manukau. That's a big, that's a big difference. So, you know, get you up 14, go into the half, you feel pretty confident. Um, but... You know, this is the thing about a Canterbury team. Everybody who knows Canterbury knows that they won't give up. Mm. So expect them to come out and still play hard. Doesn't matter who's out on the court, what your foul situation is. The, the expectation is that they go out and give it everything. And I don't see any of these kids out here not giving everything. So, yep, we've still got lots lots to go in this ball game. You know, we all know a lot can yep. happen. This game could change very quickly. Right. So if I was, you know... Yeah, Coach Keong for Auckland County's Manukau, you want to, want to continue the momentum, be constant at the defensive end, yep. and uh, execute on the offensive end. For sure. So Suafi Fatilofa misses the first, he misses both. Yep. So that's a reprieve for Canterbury. Yeah, Jackie, it's a great rebound right there. They needed that. If they'd given up an O-board, that could have been a little bit of a, a backbreaker. Oh, travel there, got, got away with that one. Travel. Comes a dribble hand off to Sam Lee's. Good hands there from Hughes. He's got his hands in the pocket. Good and step Sam through. Sam Lee stripped through. He gets the rebound, oh, and that'll be two for shots. A foul. Yep. Oh, I don't know if it's two foul on the rebound, maybe. On number 12 or 13, I couldn't quite tell who that was. Hmm. Over the top. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not a shooting foul. There you go, Sam it. Lees. It's all Sam Lees. Driving and he sh shuffle shot, but no, Samuel Arua with the rebound. He's got some str there's some strong bodies out there. Those two those two brothers can really yeah. we've got a bit of a lot lot going on here. Number twenty four holding on to his arm. Surprised she's not calling oh. a foul on that. I think the official has called the foul on that. No, yes, she has. Oh, she is going to call it. Yeah, he was definitely holding his arm. Yep. Yep. Oh, another two shots. Another two shots. This is hurting Canterbury. Yep. Yeah, Samson Arua definitely just had his arms, arms straight up in the air. and Isaac just getting called for a foul. Yep. Didn't need to give that one up. Getting away with it right now. Samson misses the first. Those final shots. Makes, a, makes second. a second. So it's a 15 point lead, 42 27, with 2909 to go in the half. Yep. And again, token pressure from the county's Manukau. Just trying to slow it down, not allow them to get into their, mm. into their offense too early in the shot clock. You know, 16 seconds right now, and they're setting up, going inside. Inside, inside to Mick Williams. Nice hook shot, he misses that. Good crash of the boards from Jack Ansel. Yep. But the Arua brothers are just tough on the balls. They're not allowing them to get any second opportunities. And, and that's a foul, so it's another two shots. This foul count's really starting to hurt. 11th foul in the quarter. 
Well, Auckland County's Manukau strategy of being aggressive is a is a positive one. It's 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 really smart. It's intelligent oh, yeah. basketball. You're in the penalty, so they're going to keep attacking you. Yep. Don't need to score layouts if you can make foul shots. You made the first one and the second one, so it's now a 17-point lead, 44-27, with a minute and 40 to go in this half. Yep. Can Canterbury get some easy hoops? Sam Lees, his yeah, Jack Ansel, up short fake. jump shot. Is that good? No, he misses that. Nick Williams with the rebound. Nick Williams with the rebound. Yep, on ball to ice it. Big to big on ball right there. They switched it. He misses the layup. Ansel with the rebound. Good kick out pass. That's a good shot there by Matt Jukes. And Matty Jukes. Absolutely. That's Let's what see they what they need do him. right they now. need him to get, get hot. So he's made his first three. It's now a 14 point game. 44 30. With a minute and five seconds to go. Definitely a pro Canterbury crowd in the building right here. Yes. <laughs> um, it was very much Waikato pro. Psycho. Uh, with oh, the drive. Missed a wide he open layup. The layup. He's Snout. not getting back on defense. This could hurt him. He's hurt him. No. So here's Jack Ansel driving. Oh, Good hands. Yeah. Comes huge driving now. He's not going to give this one up. Oh. No, he's. Uh, He's in a transition, Zahn Hughes doesn't pass the ball. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't. So he gets the bucket there. He's got away with a carry ball there, probably Sam Lees. Jack Ansel for three in the corner. He misses. And it's a bit of, dis that wreaks a bit of desperation right there. Arua to Arua. And he's driving. And he oh, makes it's a, a tough, tough bank. running bank shot. Oh, running away from the hoop, bank shot to the left. It's an 18 point lead now to Auckland County. 14 now. seconds left in the, in the half. Canterbury desperately need to get a shot, a good one to drop for them. They, they need some sort of momentum going into the half. Ball. Sam Lee's driving, good help, no help. Oh, there we go, three-point shot. Oh, and it's oh, blocked. Blocked by, by the smallest kid on the court. <laughs> blocks the, <laughs> the next biggest kid on the court on the three-point shot. That's they, Canterbury needed that one to go, and Auckland take all the momentum into the half. And that's the end of the first half. Auckland Folks, leading 48 to 30. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. The World Masters Games coming to New Zealand next year for basketball, and it's just a huge event and opportunity for those ex-athletes, friends and family to be involved. The World Masters Games being hosted here in New Zealand is huge, with all the ex-NBA players and EuroLeague players and internationals. It's something we're really looking forward to. The roles of the officials are going to be crucial to the success of this event. Without them, the event can't take place, so we're heavily relying on them. You're definitely going to see me down on the court in 2017. This is the biggest sporting event at Auckland Shores. Referees, school bench officials and volunteers, we need you. Now is the perfect time to get involved in our sport and continue to build towards 2017 and the World Masters Games. Hope to see you all in April. In 2017, Auckland is going to play host to one of the biggest sporting events ever to come to New Zealand, the World Masters Games. Basketball is one of 28 sports. Referees and school bench officials are the cornerstone of our sport. In 2017, we're going to need everyone to make sure that this is a successful event. The World Masters Games is an opportunity for officials to test themselves at a world-class event. Whether you're a new or an existing official, sign up now to be involved.
It would be nice to know who's... Are we on? Oh, and welcome back. Uh, welcome back to the start of the second half. Uh, Auckland County's Manukau leading 48-30. Canterbury, a lot of work before them yep. in the second half. Yeah, a lot of work to do. The big point, uh, what I see coming out right now is Toby Galunoy's come in, and he's on three fouls, so big risk right now putting him in, but they, I guess they can't afford not to put him in. He's their main player, and uh, if they need him to get going and get some buckets early. Sam Lee's attacked the basket. Here we go, Matty Jukes. Jukes. Can he get them in? That's Straight a great away. start for Canterbury. Great start. Great, great start for Canterbury. They needed that, and here we go. We've got a little bit on oh no, it, just a bit of half-court pressure. Nothing too too strong right now. Um, into a hard set. Yep. Here's Joel Vainana looking for the, the hand off. Oh, straight Samuel. down the middle. Kick, Kick. out. It's on Hughes. Hughes. Can he answer? No. no but Mies, some, oh, oh, no. Didn't quite get the rebound. Patrick there. Roger with the rebound. Great Here comes rebound. Canterbury. Yep. Yeah, they're pushing it down at speed. Lees being aggressive. Oh, <laughs> got him for a travel. travel. <laughs> got him for a travel. Bit of a wild shot. It was a bit of an unfortunate one that he didn't make it. But, yep. Um, yeah, good start. They need that energy straight off the bat. Yep. Canterbury, so. Sam Lees. He's out hogging the ball now. Good defense. Key John Sloan. He, same play with the handoff there. Nice. Oh. What is the play the ball. throwing it at people's feet? Oh. Some Messi. Messi call for a foul. <laughs> that's pretty rough. But anyway, he got called. So that's... Uh, it's his third, according to my my little handwritten stats. So Samisi Tuifiafi has has three fouls. Yep, eleven of them in the game right now. So not not too worried about Samisi not playing too many minutes. I see. Yep. So can Canterbury eat into this lead? Yeah, it's easily doable. Oh, here we go. Sam Lee's nice drive, oh, and he and makes one. the basket and one. So he's going to call that one on. He's calling down. Canterbury with all the momentum in the start of the second half. Number 12, Sam Marua is getting that first that foul. Yeah, they, that's uh, Sam Marua's second. That's a third team foul already on uh, on Auckland counties. And they've cut the lead to 13. Yep, big momentum shift. Foul count going immediately the other way <laughs> from the second quarter, so... Lees makes a second foul shot. So a six and zero run here early in the second and second half for Canterbury. I think it was an end one, wasn't it? Did he make the shot? Yep. Because you want going to the basket. basket. Easy layup. Oh. Yeah, McWilliam just not even interested in trying to hedge at him or oh. do anything right there. Too worried about his own man. So Sam Lees, the showing in the baseline, but yep. ice there. Good help from uh, Samson. Yep. Patrick Roger on the handoff. Here goes Matty Jukes for another three. No, that was short. Good rebound there. Good patience again. Like no, no hurry to get the ball down the court. Key John Sloan. Samson Arua getting position inside. Back yep. to his brother. Pull an on ball screen Samuel. here. Samuel. He's driving, looking. Fakes. Nice seal there from Samson Arua. Out to Key John Sloan. Five he drives. Left. Gets another layup. This is that time. Oh, William. Pull for a foul. The team. Good rebound from Angus McWilliam and Key John Sloan picks up the foul. So that puts uh, Auckland straight in the bonus, or Canterbury, Canterbury, sorry, in the bonus right now with eight minutes left. That's huge. It's a huge yeah. foul. It's obvious. It's almost the reverse of what happened in the second quarter. Yeah. Now Auckland County's Manukau facing a dilemma with the, the in foul trouble. Oh, that was a good look for Matty Jukes. Yeah. He had a good look. He could have broke. Oh, no, I think I've got my foul count wrong there. It looks like they've only got three teams. Hughes fouls, so. driving to the basket, and yep. he makes that one. Yeah, he can get that done. He'll be loving this challenge too, so. He leads back to 16. Yeah, Lee's good step through. Matty Duke to the rebound. He not, misses. He's not used to playing inside there, so. Didn't quite have enough poise about him to make that layup. Mm. Here comes Hughes. Yep, He's being aggressive. He's still. Oh, it's Joel Wang. Oh, oh, that's a bad up. pass. We could have it. No, just a layup right there. Good basketball by Sam Lee's there. Just making sure he gets the layup. Yep. In the semi final, he tweaked the dunk. So. 
County's just Step playing a little bit of individual basketball yeah. right there. Going away from their team yeah. stuff where they reverse the ball a lot. Auckland County's Manukau basketball. They're up 14. 6.49 in the third quarter left to go. Coach Keown reluctant to call a timeout. Yeah, no, that's all right. Well, Canary's got momentum, so that's good. Sometimes you allow your players to play through it. And he's yeah. pretty confident that his guys can play through that. Oh, great oh pass. nice pass. Oh, good, good block foul. from Patrick Roger. Oh, there's a foul called. It yeah. might have been on uh, Angus McWilliam. Two, one, no. No, it was on Patrick Roger. Patrick Roger. Yeah, he's he unlucky picks, there. He picks up his third. Good challenge. It's good to see players challenging the shot. Yeah, definitely. You, you just don't give up easy layups right now. So Samson Arua, he'll oh. miss that one. Yeah, that yeah, one didn't look comfortable at all. So a good foul from Patrick Roger. He makes the second, makes sends the lead second. to 15. I think we're going to a zone defense right here for Alton County. Yeah, they're in the 2-3 zone here. Yeah. Toby Gouloui. Oh, oh, turnover. It's tripled off, off the foot. Yeah. Here we go, Zane Hughes. Oh, Just going to get called for a charge. going to be a charge there. See, yeah. I don't know about that one. I think that was a poor decision from Hughes. Oh, you absolutely. Know, you've got to, you just, you've just got to, you've got to steal, and now you want to just settle things down yeah. and then build some momentum. They need to force it. Yep. This just allows Canterbury to eat into that big lead again. Yeah, it's still at 15. And that puts Auckland in the bonus with that offensive yep. foul too, so that's... Uh, six, six fifteen to go too. Yep. That's so it's a huge foul. Time. Here's Toby now. Can he get going? No, Galuli missed that three. Leaves with the rebound. Matty Jukes, can he get this going? He, oh, again, another oh, miss. Rebound. And Here Hughes, long rebound. Oh. Three on one. Lob to Joel Vaidana. No, he doesn't finish that. Looks to go with the left hand oh, hook. Nice great finish. Great patience there by Vaidana. Made the right decision. Yeah. And... Uh, Proving me wrong was Zahn Hughes on the fast break making yep. a pass. Yep. <laughs> so he proved me wrong too. I <laughs> yep. was thinking uh, he's made Jukes for three. No, oh, got away with a push in the back there. Did uh, oh, McWilliam. that's a foul. Who's he given that? It's a foul two, on McWilliam. Three. Yep. McWilliam, second foul for him. Second team foul. Or third team foul for uh, Canterbury. So they're not far away from being in the bonus themselves. Yep. So Auckland County's Manukau here have weathered the storm in the first part of this yeah. quarter and now they, they're, they're, they've got a 17 point lead and can extend here. So yeah, it's just uh, playing just or either getting away with or playing good basketball right yeah. now. Just a straight into a horn set right here. Vainita popping. Vainita popping. Good seal from Samson other inside. Yeah. His, his brother Samuel, he drives. And yeah. again, Patrick Roger has no oh, option but to Foul. That lane was just so wide open for Arua. Yeah, I don't know what uh, Coach Isaac's going to do about that, but uh, he's going to have to talk about it somehow. He's so definitely looking down his bench right now. So Jack Ansett, number twelve, Ansel, number twelve comes in for Patrick Roger. Yep. Yeah. And number fifteen, Connor Woodbridge, and number six, Swafi Fatilofa. They check in for Kijon Sloan and, and Zahn Hughes. Zahn Hughes. Yeah, for sure. Sam Narua missing that first foul shot. He makes the second. So it's an 18 point lead. 56 38 to Auckland County's Manukau. They go back to their zone, their 2 3 zone. Yep. Oh, there's oh. Matty Jukes. He's open. No. Back to Sam Lees. Lees. Close out there by Woodbridge. Toby Goululi. Yep. Just trying Driving. to be patient. Hooks. No, he's blocked by Joel. Vainidas. He's got some long arms. Oh, oh a turnover. Turn Have it straight back. Just Lofa just losing the handle on that one. Got a bit excited, maybe. Yep. Just, um, you know, let's get down there and see if we can get a bucket instead of just being patient. Yes. So he's Matty Jukes. The bounce. Sam Lees. Blue Lloyd open on the floor. Oh, nice high post action there. Yeah, Jack Lees Jack kick out. Insect. Oh, Little tip out there by uh, Good Fatilofa. hands from Fatih Lofa. Yeah, just yeah, good rotation collapsing down. They're, they're just collapsing in the yeah. middle, aren't they? See if you can beat us from the outside. There you go. 
Medijuke's looking for someone out the top of Jack Ansel. Back yep. to Kuruli. Here's Medijuke's in the corner. Yep. Kuruli with a handoff. Stretch Back to Jack either. Ansel. Sam Lees. Can he get them going? He's looking for somewhere. He's looking for a drive. Jack Good Ansel with a fake. Two foot jump shot. Yes. Good shot by Ansel. 15 foot jump shot by yep. Ansel. Sam will be killing himself for jumping at that up fake. Yep. You know, like uh, Ansel not known as a great shooter. Um, so obviously not knowing the scout or Seems just not playing very well. Kicks it out. Oh, oh Connor Woodbridge, out he's wide almost. open. Oh, Jeez, just a oh, nice pass. Here's Jack Ansel to the basket. Yep. Nice finish. Back-to-back no -back hoops from Jack Ansel. And takes it down to 16, oh no, 14 right now. So still a little bit of work for them to do, but... Uh, Here goes Samuel Adelaar right. driving passes to his brother Simpson. Yep. And he finishes on the layup. Yeah, that power game from the two brothers. Yeah, and uh, Samson's not afraid of contact in the air. Finishes always pretty strong around the hoop, so. 58-42, three minutes and 45 seconds to go in this quarter, yep. third quarter. Oh. McWilliams with a foul line jump shot. Good Great look. shot. And timeout called by Auckland Counties. Yeah, so just probably a bit of a settling uh, timeout right now. Only, the, only up 14. Uh, Canterbury... Uh, looking way more positive than they did in the, the second quarter right now yep. so uh, yeah, Coach I said he'll be he'll be trying to get um, McWilliam a bit more of a look mm. there at the high post draw, draw those players away from the basket uh, the defensive players and and then hopefully uh, yeah, knock down some shots so, as soon as they start knocking down some shots make them defend the outside then you go past them and try and finish on the inside so uh, yeah good contest Good contest right now. Canary have to start, you know, they've got to make some stops. They've got to get some stops on the defensive end. Yep. Um, so they can get back in this game. It first starts with that, that end of the floor. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they come out with any sort of full court pressure in this. Yeah. You know, they've got a foul to give, um, so they, they could afford to do it. And we just saw um, Fatia Lofa just turn the ball over here after a, a defensive rebound trying to push it so maybe a little bit of pressure on them yeah. they might cough it up so whether or not that's a strategy that gets employed uh we'll, we'll get to yeah i mean out. I'd, I'd like them to i'd like to see that in the last three minutes of this quarter just you know they get out and up up and in for a little bit yeah period of this game and it looks like they are they're extending their defense right now yeah or so what is yeah. it going with a a one, two, two. two. Yeah, they are. They're into a one, two, two full court. Yep. Coming back for a trap. Yep. Oh, trap easily the broken. Easily broken to Vita Latu with the lob to oh, Joe Mayana. Oh, that's a great play finish. Play of the game. Yep. Easy. Play of the game. Easy. Yeah, and that's... Uh, Toby Gululi going to the basket. He picks up on foul. Woodbridge can call for the foul right there. Um, that's the way to break the press. Just get it to the middle to Vita Latu. Made a great decision on the yep. lob pass. Um, and that, I guess that's the thing with the, with the press is you... You're gambling, and if you if you gamble, yep. sometimes you lose. You know, so um, yeah, I think they just got caught in no man's land there, Jack Ansel, or was it? Yeah, it might have been Matty Dukes. You know, you got to cover that middle. You got to keep the ball out of the middle of the floor. Yeah. Um, oh. oh, Jack Ansel back to Toby Gooley looking for the three. Matty Dukes with the ball now. Good settle. He's out down. front. Toby Gooley passes nice. Oh, it's a foul, foul. called. So we're going to the bucket, uh, to, to the foul line, sorry. So this is better. This is better for Canterbury. Absolutely it is. And that's Samuel Rua's third foul. So um, I see uh, Coach Keong looking down the bench, but he's mm. not too worried. Here's, uh, a here's Canterbury's opportunity to try and keep it as close as they can. If they get it, can get into single foot. So just before the start of the fourth, then the they can make a run in the fourth William. It's a 14-point lead, 60 to 46. And Tui Afi Afi is uh, looking to come back in. Yeah, here we go, it's a sub. 13-point lead, so 60 to 47. With three minutes, 14 to go. So substitution here. To Afi Afi, Samisi comes in. Yeah. And Samson, uh, Samuel will go out. The same pressure here, one, two, two. Sam Lee's on the ball. I'd like to see him commit to the ball, put more pressure on the ball, get closer to the ball. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Yeah. 
Yep. Still got it over the half pretty pretty comfortably. Comes to Vita Latu. Oh. Oh. That's Always what you want. You wanted to take a quick shot, but you need to get that loose ball. Yep. Latu in the, open in the corner right now. On a Woodbridge driving. Great nice pass. pass. Oh. oh! And another and big dunk by Hanina. Hanina with the flush. Yep. That excites the crowd. The crowd is excited. He's yep. just... Oh, big block. And he's just moved the crowd oh. with that flush. <laughs> to Yafi, Yafi's uh, having a bit of fun out there. Yep. And we've got some subs coming in for Canterbury. Jaden Chan coming in for, looks like Toby, uh, Matt Dukes and um, Carl Isaac coming in for uh, Angus William. So a couple of big time dunks in this quarter from Joel Vain. Good pressure there by Woodbridge on the inbound pass. Just making it difficult for Galuloy just to throw it in. Jaden Chan, he's open. It goes to Sam Lees with the hook shot. Not good. Oh, he's so giving it straight oh. back to him. Oh, Galuloy getting away oh, with the push under the fit. <laughs> Clever. We like that. A bit of old man game about him there. Is that pressure again from Canterbury? Yeah, easily broken Skip again. Skip it, there's Connor Woodbridge driving to the corner. Driving again, nice pass to the big fella. Yep. And some messy finishes. He can finish that one. Anything outside the key, he's not going to move too fast for, but if you give it to him under the hoop, he's going to be able to finish it. There's Toby Gululi with a look. He misses the three they had. Oh, they needed that one to drop. Yeah, him Canterbury and Matty Dukes yep. have just been off in this game. They need some shots to drop. 15 sure. point lead, 64 49. A minute 55 to go in this quarter. Yep, 10 seconds on the shot clock right Connor now. Woodbridge. Oh, short here we corner. Go. Here goes some Messi with a hook shot. And this yep. is that. Cool. He gets a rebound. They're out and running. Jaden Chan pushing it down. Looking for a Just need a couple of shots to drop. There's oh, Jack Ansel. He travel, drives. Probably. He kicks it to oh, Galuli. He would have thought he would have shot that, but he missed. Rebound there by Woodbridge. Big rebound. Just a little bit of lack of confidence now from. Starting to show on Toby Gunnulli's yep. face. I think he should have shot that three-point shot. Should have taken that shot. Here we Comes go. Wafi Fatilofa driving. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's a shame to see that one. Oh, I think he got all ball there. 34. James Campion. A bit quick on the whistle. Second foul for uh, Carl Lysett. However, that will go down as a foul on the stats and then the score sheet. And that puts them in the bonus as well. So both teams in the bonus right now. Kick out to Connor Woodbridge. Yep. He fakes, he, he drives, he crosses over, he gets contact and he... Finish. No. Oh! There's the big boy, Samissi. Get in there. Yep. Yeah. He's just tough. He's just... Yep. <laughs> he's chewing on that mouth guard like yep. it's a piece of taro. He's, he's <laughs> going for it. Um, he's loving it. Just, Chan, just been patient right now. Galuloy no, turns it down. Sam Lee's now. Oh, fouled by Latu. Yep. Absolutely. And he'll go to the line. Go to the line. 51 seconds to go. Sam Lee's shooting two foul shots at 66 49. A 17 point lead here for Auckland County's Manukau. The Academy just needs to get, get a couple of stops and a couple of makes right now. And it becomes a lot tighter. Mm. And if they can get some momentum going into the fourth quarter, it'll make it interesting. But if they don't do that, you can see it sort of slipping away from them. Uh, I might be speaking yeah. too early, absolutely, but um, they look pretty composed, this Auckland County's team. Don't seem to be, oh, it's it's giving up a no board right there. Here we go, Galuloy lines it. this one up. Yep. No, this that one's another O board. Oh, oh and he throws it straight. <laughs> This is what happens when, you know, this is why as a coach you're always telling your players to sit down on the sideline because... And put a shirt on. An example, <laughs> and there's a prime example why. Yeah, and Matty Jukes is a shooter, so you turn around, you see yeah. his face standing right there, you wanted to shoot the ball. Yeah, what have we gone to here defensively? I don't, I don't know if they really know, Jack Ansel doesn't really know what he, what their team's doing. Is it a 2-3 or is it a 3-2 zone? Well, it looks like a little bit of man-to-man, -man, sort of. Oh yeah, look, yeah, it was a two-free zone, but Jack Ansel didn't know what he was up to. So on a Woodbridge, he gets blocked. Forced, Here we forced go, good issue. pass from Jack Ansel. Don't worry about fouling, just yeah. Nice finish from Sam Lee's. 14 seconds left. You want to take the last shot? Here we go. Oh, and a turnover again. Good one, oh, Canterbury. This is good, good work by Canterbury. Nice work. Good finish from Toby Gululi. Yep. Four seconds to go. 
Good finish to the quarter by Canterbury. Oh, Joel Wang, oh no, that looks. Oh, it didn't look too bad from our angle, but uh, that ends the quarter. Canterbury uh, finishing off strong and they needed to, but they're down 13 going into the fourth quarter. So Auckland County's up 66 53. We'll see you just before the start of the fourth. Welcome back. Canterbury have made a mini run right at the end of that third quarter to put themselves within 13 points of Auckland County's Manukau. So Auckland County's Manukau leading 66-53. And got the possession, so that's probably pretty important because I think if Canterbury score first in this, this quarter that you can just start creating a little bit of anxiety and that's what you want to do if you take Canterbury and try to get back in this game right now. Um, then yeah, Milton Counties, they just, they need to get out and get a good position where they get a good shot um, and just ease a little bit of anxiety, I suppose, mm. is probably the, the key there. Here we go, Kijon Sloan running the point right now. So he's back in the game, and let's say Cole is back in the game, and so is Hughes. Yep. So Kick out pass, uh, oh, good fake. fake. And here's Hughes looking to get to the pass and driving. Yep. Kick out, Kick out. Let's say Seiko. Cole. Oh, oh, didn't look too that. bad. Come on, Joel, get up there. Oh, he gets, he gets the oval. Good deflection, so now they can reset. Yep. And some more ticks off the clock. Oh, he's having a second go at it. Oh, it didn't look too bad, that second shot. But uh, didn't get a score, so here we go, Canterbury. See if we can get a score and put some pressure on him. Yep. Tabakuli fakes the handoff. The Sam Lees. Here's where he's tough to guard. Oh, yeah, the foul. Could have caught on the Seiko, I think, number nine. Is this the start of the Canterbury run? Yeah, number nine. He's called for that one. That's his third personal. Sam Lees. Good aggressive move right at the yep. basket. Makes the it's first one. It's, an it's now a 12 point lead. The lead to 12. Yeah, it's yep, at 11 now, up. so here we go. Yeah, a bit of pressure up the court still. Yep. And that one, two, one, one. Oh, Covering the middle. No, they let him catch it, and now they're off to the races. Another lob to Joel Wangana, but that's. That could be the bit of a downfall. Yep. They, they oh, he lost the handle. Sam Lee's lost the handle. Yep, here we and go. Here they go. Back oh, the other way. Dunk. Oh, oh, foul. He was trying to throw that one down, yeah, that's for yep. sure. Good good foul. Yep. Check answer with a good foul. Uh, that's Carl Isaac got called for that one. Did he? Yeah. Um, yeah well, that's mm. what uh, referee Taylor Amundsen's uh, signalled. But yeah, like you don't want to give up a dunk there. I think that would be too much of an emotional high for counties if they get another dunk. They've already yeah. got a couple that sort of help them starve off any, uh, any comebacks. Mm. He makes a second. Second. And we've got a 12 point lead. 67 55. Just under nine minutes to go in the half. Yep. In the game. Remaining in the game. Jack Ansel. He drives. Oh, short block shot. shot. Blocked by Joel Wayne. 
No, excuse me. Well, it, yep. Here comes Key John. Slow, bringing the ball up. Here we go. The oh, he always gave he was, up that he one. Looking to shoot. Here comes Hughes. Hughes. He's, he's shooting it. No, he misses that. And Gorulli with the rebound. Out to Sam Lees. He's pushing it at speed again. This is this is good from Sam Lees. Oh, Jaden Chan wide now, Jayden open. Jaden Chan, can, can he knock it down? No, he's off. And there's Jack Ansel on the boards with Sam Lees. Sam Lees doing everything here. Absolutely. Good he shot by Sam Lees. Shot. It's a 10 point lead now. 10 point game we've got. 67 57. The closest Canterbury have come in the second half. Yep. Sam Lees leading all scorers right now as well. Oh, oh. blown layup. This, here's Key John Sloan. Oh, no, didn't want to go up. Oh, he should have shot that. It's jump ball three right seconds. here. It's going to be Canterbury ball. Seconds. So, yeah, Sam Lees Canterbury right ball. now. Sitting so. on uh, 25 points for the game. I think he's got two foul yep. shots in, a, in, a foul, in, a, in that layup yep. this quarter. So he's 21 at the third, third quarter. For, uh, and then after that, we're looking at Matt Dukes, nine points. For Ke Auckland County's Zahn Hughes, 16 points. Uh, Joel Vianita on 11. And Connor Woodbridge on 12. Yep. So has the, has the momentum shifted? It yeah, has, Absolutely. certainly has. It's a 10-point game now. Yep. Canterbury in the game. Here comes a three-point shot. Could cut it to seven, no. I think that was a two-point shot. I think it's still on the line and the referee said it was three, but um, hey, I'm not right on the court, so. Key John Sloan now with the ball. Two free zone right Hughes, here. Hughes with the ball. Looking to Good go patience. inside. And Samuel Arua back to, back to Hughes for three. Can he get this? No, he misses, but Samson there's Arua. Samson Arua on the board. On the boards. Big, big, big rebound. board. Yeah. Here, the, here come Canterbury trying to push, push the pace a little bit more. He's open, Toby Gorlul, he's got to take that shot. Oh, Sampson Arua just lazily giving a foul up. Two shots too, so he can yep. get them back to 10 points. That's Sampson Arua's first foul. I think it's time for, for me, uh, if I was Carl, I said, yeah, just as I was going to say it, yep, he... Gets Angus McWilliam up off the bench and Maddie Jukes. I was just going to say that it's about time that Maddie Jukes re entered the game. Yeah. Give them that perimeter option because oh, they're making a well run short. now. That's well short from Toby Gorley. And that's Open County's Manukau ball. And here comes Maddie Jukes, Patrick Roger, and Angus McWilliam. Yeah, it's all gave him some good quality minutes yep. right there. Um, and I sit them too. Jaden Chan, it's a bit unfortunate not to knock down that wide open three in the corner. That would have been nice for them. Uh, but as it stands, Sam Lee's on the ball, nearly got a hand on that one. Yep, two open in the middle. Sloan. Auckland County's quite happy for that to happen. Running a bit of. Oh, good hands from Sam Lee. Lee. And he should make this nice, easy layup. Good finish. Yep. So, again, it's a 10 point game, and here come Canterbury. Yep, They're absolutely. Coming, coming right back in it. Yep, over Here's the top Hughes. there. Oh, here comes Samuel Arua. Oh, he's. Good finish there by Vianita. I think Patrick Ryder was a little bit slow to step out and take that charge. He's yeah, not, not even willing yeah, to do that. Didn't have a good the there. Patrick Ryder Roger driving. Oh, oh good, good hands steal. by Samuel Arua. Back to Joel Vianita. He drives, but he's... Oh, got over the tra no, oh, travel. travel. Yep. 11 point game here. Here we go. Dijon Sloan gets 60. Subbed out. Fatih Lofen coming back in. Man-to-man -man defense right here for Auckland Counties. Sam Lees. On ball screen. Quite happy to allow him to use it. Nice pass. Oh, oh, he missed it, but there's Maddie Jukes with the rebound. Good effort from Maddie Jukes. Toby Gululi with the ball. They go What's inside of Patrick Roger. Back to Toby Gululi. He's got to take that three. Toby's got to take that three. Oh, pretty, pretty tough call, that yeah. one. It feels like he was standing straight up, but... Um, Quarter foul. And two shots to Toby Gorluli, and he could, you know, this could be the first time Canterbury get it to single digits in the second half. 6.03 to go in the game, 71.60, and Toby Gorluli, number eight for Canterbury, shooting two foul shots. Bit of quiet yeah, in the crowd. This is their first one. He's just gone cold from <laughs> the line at the moment, Toby yeah. Gorluli. Yeah, he definitely needs some characteristic for him because he's he's a he's generally a really sound foul shooter. His uh, technique is 
pretty textbook. Yep. So we're back to a 10-point game. Here we go. Just a bit of patience. Oh, the middle guy. Again, he found the middle guy. And there's so That's Hughes. a great finish by Hughes. Yep. Again, it's unforgivable. You want to take that middle pass away. It's kind of got them back into yeah. the game by putting some pressure on it. But more, more than anything else is that they've managed to get to the line. You know, so they've got to keep being aggressive at the line and put them under, under pressure through fouls. Sam Lee kicks it out. Here's Toby Gawuli. He's got that to get right. going. He's oh, that's come off Canterbury. Yeah, he's got to knock that one down yep. for him to get back in the game. Oh, easy. Right, easy down the middle it. again. And here comes Sam Lees now at speed. Fake step through. Oh, great block, block by Sam Sarua. Kick ahead pass. Hughes now going to the, the basket. basket. Good finish. Oh, oh Joel going to miss the rebound. Oh, he's got a tip on it. It's definitely got to be Canterbury ball. Oh, he's going to give it to all the counties. Oh. Mm. I think Vainita's definitely um, whacked at that one yeah. and, and scored out off him, but. I don't know, maybe it def took a deflection, but mm. Canterbury feel hard done by by that one. Kick out pass. Samuel Adela, yep. back inside to his brother Samson. Yep. Kick out. Back kick out. He shoots the three. It's oh, gone. big There's rebound by uh, Fatia Lofa. Yeah. Canterbury definitely need every rebound they can get. There's Hughes looking to shake. Matty yep. Jukes fakes, oh, kicks. He's gonna shoot. He has to shoot that one. Oh, he's no. looking. Five, four, three. Oh, got his own rebound. No, no. McWilliams strong enough. takes it off him. There goes Matty Jukes. Oh, they escaped that position. 12 point Rick. game, Matty Jukes to Toby Gulu. I oh, know that's Sam Lees. Clear screens. Gulu open in the corner. There's McWilliams on the inside. Nice left hand hook and doesn't go, but. There's Sam Lees keeping again. it alive. He's having a great Matty game. Jukes for three. No. Oh. Matty Jukes for three again. Oh, Nina just leaking Matty out. Jukes not even for three. No. Oh. oh. They've just been off with their three-point shooting. They've had the opportunities. Yeah, I think uh, Auckland County's have just been lucky right now. Yeah. He's just More luck. than anything else. And Hughes. Oh, he's powering his way in there. Good hands. Oh, he got away with a foul. Yeah. Oh, foul called. On number nine, Sam Lees gets his... Mm. That's the second. Mm. That's the second team foul for uh, Canterbury of the quarter. Mm. She's she called that on the ground, or was that a shot? On on baseline. The ground, baseline. <laughs> and we got a sub no, no. Oh, Samson Arua just, Arua just way nice too pass, big. Nice pass. Good touch passes here on the inside. Yeah. Well, Nina Nina just, Nina just. Oh, he's going to get a warning for hooks. playing with the ball. No. So he comes oh, to Vitalatu now, defending Sam Lee. Yeah, coming in. Oh. Right to the corner. Good, good find. Great it's finish there by McWilliam. Uh, McWilliam. McWilliam now with the score 75-63. So a 12-point lead, three and a half minutes to go. Can pass. they come back on this? To Vitalatu, to the basket. Oh, oh, the oh travel. Nice. Hughes back into the game for, for number he 11. Vainita. Vainita. So he checks out and here's. This could be the last throw of the dice for Canary to cut it to single digits here. Yeah, here we go. Three minutes left. Clear screens for Gululi. Back door to Gululi. Nice play. Nice play. Nice play right. So that's Good 10 finish. points now. 75 65. Nice Business end of this half. Point. Business end of this game. Yep. Canterbury in. A bit of patience it. needed by Auckland Counties right now to make sure. Oh, oh yeah. It's a foul by Blue Loy. He's taken his fourth. So he's played all this all this time right now with only on three fouls and it's done really well to get to this point. Third team foul for Canterbury. Open up there, Samson Arua. Hand off. Hughes driving, good drive, an aggressive drive. But there's Arua on the boards. Oh, he, he's played it off the dead ball. 
Oh, Hawkham County's ball. No, that wasn't going in. It was sitting on top of sitting the rim. Sitting on top of the rim, yeah. Not very often you see that it happen, but uh, oh, the referee's having to talk about it. Mm. This could be controversial if they count the basket. Mm. I think you have to go just position, don't you? Yeah. Big time. I like how Auckland County's had a good huddle right there. Let's talk about the next position, so they, they expect them to get it back anyway. So they either get a basket or they they get it back. So keeping it and Munson just talking it out. It's pretty pretty yeah. Probably the right call to make it in the situation right now. Let the players decide it, what's going on. Coach Kyong's asking for a basket to be counted. He's not happy, but um, you get the position back. You've got 24 seconds. If you you know you're still up 10. Oh, it's oh, wide, he's open. wide open. Tavita oh, he's oh. oh, he's caught him for out of oh. Oh. <laughs> He was asking for it too. Patrick Roger fell asleep there. Yeah, oh, his back door open oh, anyway. Again, it's open again. It's, it didn't get pushed. Canterbury are just not boxing out here. They're, yeah. just, they're just not boxing out. Yeah, here and we again, go. Again, Auckland County's Manicaz. So two two minutes now, two minutes and 34 to go. Fatia Lofa with the drive, oh. stepped through. He's been big for such a little guy. And he extends that Auckland County's Manukau lead to 12. Yeah, it's Sam a big Lee's basket. trying to look to see if they can get things going. Kick. Dukes Maddie Dukes corner. for three. That's can good. Can he get them going? Yes. Great shot. Nine-point game. Here we go. Down the stretch. It's 77 to 68. Yep. Eight Auckland County's Manukau leading by nine. It's good. To good. Oh, oh, good read. Toby just laid on that. Stay on the ground. Good block. We're going to stay with it Ten here. Seconds. Two minutes to go. Five. Eight seconds left to oh, go kick on the out. Knock it down, Latu. Tavita Latu, that's long. Oh, well and long. Sam Lee's, oh. Oh, oh he should have held on to that one. Good pressure from Patrick Roger. There's oh, a good release right the top. there. Oh, good, good patience, patience there by now. Arua. Fatia Lofa just passing it out the top of yeah, to absolutely. Latu and just taking their time now. When do they start fouling, yeah. Latu? Uh, I wouldn't foul yet. I would no. still try and, you know, they've still got... Position here. Oh, he's knocked down a three. three two, that get big. the rebound. They just. Oh. Coach Isaac is just pulling his hair out. Yeah. Because that is the third or fourth offensive rebound that Auckland County's Manukau had this quarter. And that's oh, a that's good a drive. Big uh, drive at the basket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, disappointing there from the from, from a Canterbury perspective. They had the op. They did exactly what the coach wanted. Yep. Played some good defense and just, just didn't box out. You can play defense for 23 seconds of the shot clock. <laughs> yeah. Shot goes up, ball bounces off the rim, and you give the you give the opposition another position. Always oh, missed the first foul shot. Yeah, it's a good miss here. So again, they're not out of it yet. Yeah, it's only it's a nine-point game. If they can box out here, get another three-point shot. It's a six-point game. It's all on. Yes. Oh, don't. Oh, oh. That's a ball back. Another another <laughs> position. <laughs> Oh anyway, well, it is what it is. Canterbury have only got themselves to blame here. Anybody calling time just, out? No. Just not Nobody? doing. Oh, and there's Arua just physically. Oh, there oh. you go. Give it, give it up. Nice. Oh, foul oh, and one. one. Perfect. Oh, Perfect. that's a big play. That's a big play. Big play there. So, is this the opportunity that Canterbury need to get a sniff of victory? Kaluli nails this. It's both a six-point game and both teams in the bonus. Time. Oh, he's stepped in the lane pretty early right there. Yeah, it's Ooh. a six-point game and here we go. Canterbury extending their defense. They need to extend the defense. This is what I like to see. It's this good opportunity. Now, don't let him dribble. Oh, oh it's pretty, pretty strong. And here's Fatialofa in the corner to Latu. 12 seconds to go in the shot clock. And oh. good pressure deep. Oh, he may have changed his pivot foot there. Oh, got away with that one. And Sears here comes the Hughes driving to the basket. Good defense. Oh, oh. A foul called. Ooh, that James is Campion yeah, wanted to I have think, an influence I on the game. I think Roger Patrick was unlucky there. <laughs> he did a good job. Yeah, and he fouls out. I thought he had jumped away from the, the offensive player and he fouls out. Campion However, to the official the calls the foul. And yeah. Hughes will go to the line and shoot two. 
I think of all the guys out there on the on the court for Auckland Counties, you want him at the foul line right yep. now. Um, big shots. Can extend the lead. Yep. Yes, makes Pretty calm. Makes it a three possession game already. So takes it out to seven. Makes this one, it's eight. So going to be going to need a couple of quick baskets. And yep. A quick look. Yeah, anybody call a timeout? Quickly. Yeah, timeout, mm. Canterbury. Bounce the ball up. Yep. And we've only got one more left in the, in the game, so you might as well, well eight. add two. We've got one left now, so. So eight point game, 48 seconds to go. Auckland County's Manukau holding on here. In the final stages of this match. Do you think they'll go to a backdoor type situation where they got with Toby before on that? Yeah, I like the look of that. That was, you know, it takes very little time off the clock. Yeah. And, um, and they brought Jaden Chan in, so they've got you know three three perimeter shooters. So yeah, look for a nice easy two, quick two. Yep. And then hopefully uh, get three, one of the three maybe point shooters. Maybe if they don't get a steal, yeah, yeah, or yeah. like do they play that game now? Mm. Um, so uh, you know who knows who knows what's going to happen, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess from from this point onwards, what what a Auckland counties do they? But try not to foul. Yeah, try not to foul. Um, um, it's interesting because go to a zone or off yeah, out, of, out of bounds. I'd, I'd stay man. Eh? I'd look to switch up on everything. Yeah. Because <laughs> yep. you don't want to get give the guys like Kululi and uh, no Matty Jukes any open side. looks. So especially with those two, I'd be switching, getting in the passing lane, trying to get a deflection out of that, and yeah, and just not fouling. Absolutely. I think uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, out of bounds play. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing, or I wouldn't be surprised if we see some sort of like elevator play yes. where we end up with a guy shooting at the top of the key three. Mm. Um, but look, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, man to man right now. Oh, 3-2, they're so protecting the outside. Side. Yeah, that's pretty clever by, uh, they've gone to his own though, so. Yeah, they've just gone to his own. Matty Dukes has yep. got the three-point look at the top. Oh, that was a good Yeah, oh. they get a rebound, the long oh, rebound to the long top. Long rebound to Fatih Lofa. Yeah, Sam Lee's did the right thing, you had to stop the mm. clock. So 42 seconds left on, in the game. And yeah. we've got uh, Fatih Lofa stepping to the line. He's, he's had a pretty influential yeah. game. He's picked up some pretty big rebounds, offensively and defensively. He was big last night in the semis, and he's big today in the finals. Yep. So. Yeah, can it's he knock him down? Big pressure. It's good to see Anthony Q having faith in his yeah. bench guy. He misses the first, so again, the door slightly ajar for Canterbury. They've got a box out here. They've got to keep, keep them off the boards. He made that one. He made that one. It's a seven-point game. Here we go. They bring it down at speed. Sam Lees. Can he get to the basket in the quick one? Sam Matty Dukes fires a three. It's off. Another rebound there by Fatia Lofa. Out to... They've got to foul him. Latu in that yeah. good foul there from Toby Gorelli. Yeah, he fouls out of the game. He had to. Mm. He, yeah, he, he won't like it, but mm. if you have to foul, you have to foul. You have to do it for the greater good yep. of the team. So he would he won't be happy with the night he's had. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> uh, definitely as a shooter, you'd think back to the ones that you wanted to get going and yep. if you could have them all back. Yep. And Latu misses the first one, so it's still a glimmer of hope right now. He's just going to make this one for County, so that they kind of... No, he misses, no, that, misses one. that one. that too. Yep. They've got to push it now, they've got to push it. Look, they've got, oh, got to get the ball in the guard's hands. A quick shot. Chan Chan. No, he misses, and there's a tip from Sam Lees. He misses that. And Canary still have position. Yep. 18 seconds to go. It's got a timeout, doesn't want to use it. Just saving it just in case. Staying at a man to man right now is Auckland Counties. Jaden Chan, that looked good. And he's, he's fouled, been fouled from three point line. Oh. oh. Oh, optimal result, really. Mm. Or, uh, well, optimal would have been that if the shot had gone in, knocked down. A, but uh, Fatia Lofa not happy with himself, shaking his head. Do you uh, try and make the first two, miss the second, try and get no board, or do you just make all three and I'll I guess make, you make all three, three, don't you? And then work on try to make get all steal three and then it. try to get the steal, look for a quick foul, yeah. Yeah. put them back on the line. Yeah, makes solid. Jaden Chan makes a second foul. Shot. So it makes this, it's only a seven point game, 
Do you think it happened? I think uh, is he called a timeout? Right 72, now? 80 to 72. Oh, he misses that one. But he gets again, uh, again. Fatty Alofa coming in and getting the yep. head on the board. So looks like uh, Anthony Keong was looking to sub in some players just to make some foul shots right there. Zane Hughes and Connor Woodbridge looking to come in mm. just in case they get fouled. Samarua can ice the game pretty much. Yep, yep. good. Only his brother giving him some love on that one. Yeah, it makes, makes a second, so an yeah, 82 to pool. 73 point lead. Nine point game, 13 yep. seconds left in the in the game, and can't recall a timeout. So just uh, at the conclusion of the game, the medal ceremonies will be uh, commenced uh, pretty quickly afterwards. So uh, yeah, keep watching online, see see who makes tournament teams yep. and, um, and things like that. The MVPs, so those will all be awarded. It'll be interesting to um, see what the tournament teams were, who the tournament teams are, yep. and um, the presentations will be made for the women's final as well as the men's final. Yep. So stay with us, viewers. Yep. Um, 13 seconds left. Down nine. Got the ball out of bounds. Need a three. Need a three. Quick one. So maybe it'll be the passer that gets the shot back. You know, pass back to the passer and come in and shoot it, whether it's long or not. So yeah. you'd probably likely to think that Matty Jukes is gonna gonna get a shot. Jaden Chan, maybe. Anthony Keong, he'll be giving the message no fouls. Yeah. And and rebound box out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that they probably will defend the three a little bit more. Yep. Will and give up a, a two pointer. Uh, yeah, and they brought in some people who can, who can make, make foul shots. shots so Hughes uh, and Connor Woodbridge into the game. And they go to a man to man. So switching everything. Oh, Maddie Jukes. look at that. Two of them go straight. Yeah. Jukes. And he stepped out of bounds. Oh. And now I think that just about ices the game. That was a pretty long two seconds. Oh, oh and a tech foul. Oh, oh, time no, out. out. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus, I thought that was going to be a tech foul for the slapping the ball down there. So um, Canterbury with <coughs> another time out. Oh, yeah, so... Drawn to a close. Auckland County's look like they're yep. going to take it out. This group of boys won the under-17s yep. two years ago. So, again, back in it up as top-age kids. So, yep. definitely uh, you can expect some chahoos and, and stuff yes. coming from that group of boys. <laughs> they, they definitely like to celebrate. So, yeah. uh, see old to Tu'uefi Afi there. Yeah. Dancing a little bit on the sideline. Yeah. Already, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got it going. He's breaking those moves down, all right. Yeah, a bit of one dance. Yeah, he's not listening to the coach. He's <laughs> he's on the sideline having some fun. To celebrate now. Yeah, <laughs> he's making the Taranaki boys have a bit of a smile on them. So reflecting back on this game, Leighton, I guess you know that first, that third quarter, uh, the second quarter really hurt Canterbury oh. when they got into foul foul trouble, there. foul problems, yep. and uh, that's where Auckland got their lead. They built that lead. Absolutely. Yep, foul by Anita. That's a good foul. They're definitely trying to get the ball to Woodbridge right there. Mm. So, uh, two seconds off the clock, all counts. They're making subs on Zahn Hughes. Looks like he's done for the night. He's had a pretty good game. Mm. He'll probably be in the equation for a uh, tournament team, I imagine. Yeah. He had that one. You'd probably think Sam is probably right there as well. Yep. Canterbury, you look at Sam Lees, Toby Uh maybe Angus McWilliam as well, he's had a pretty influential game. Yep. Out of this lot here, yeah, out of the out of the rest, who, anybody else sort of stand out that you think will? Um, being here just the last two days, I think for, you know, obviously Auckland County's Manukau, I think Samuel Adwa has impressed Yep. Me in the two days I've seen him play. Last oh, him oh didn't need to touch that, but you take it. Hughes, yep, plays just here before Hughes. Yep. Uh, Waikato, this morning this game was, didn't really go to form either. 
Otago unlucky not to miss out. Josh Atchison yep. had a hell of a game. Yep. He'll be in the tournament team for sure. Uh, Hamish McDonald for, for Waikato, well, just my pick. Yep. Uh, oh, great steal there by Woodbridge. And he's fouled. Whoa. That's almost unsportsmanlike, but yep. no real need to, to foul, foul on, that, on one. that one. Especially with only three, four seconds left to go on the game clock. Yep. Yeah, that's it's done and dusted. So Connor Woodbridge to the line. Two seconds to go. Yeah, let's see if uh, Auckland County's do their celebration after a made foul shot. Oh, that's all we've got. We've got to, to make one first. Can't celebrate that. No, can't celebrate a miss. Long pause. And he misses that one as well. So. <laughs> And that concludes the men's finals. Yes, at Auckland Counties. Deserved victors. Uh, team, form team of the, the tournament. tournament. So, uh, unlucky Canterbury, uh, but well done to Auckland Counties. So, 82 73. Congratulations to Auckland County's manager, Manukau. Um, and they're celebrating now, singing their team song because uh, of miserations to the Canterbury under 19 team. Yep. And we thank you viewers for watching. But continue to watch as the presentations of the awards presentations for the tournament teams and the winning teams uh, will continue after this break. Okay, we'll get started now. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nelson for the 2016 Basketball New Zealand Under-19 National Championships Tournament Awards Ceremony. Before we start tonight's proceedings, I'd like to call on Tony Perkins, who would like to say a few words. Tony is the 
Vice Chair um, of the Nelson Basketball Association. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, well, what a week it's been, eh? Can I ask everybody, please, put your hands together for uh, all the players, all the teams from the incredible week. And if I can, please, I'd like you to acknowledge Mel Whelans, Emily Cox, and Ken Paulson from Basketball New Zealand. And uh, also Steve Pitchett, who's here, who's a life member of Basketball New Zealand and the Nelson Basketball Association. On behalf of the NBA, we're extremely grateful to Nelson Basketball for allowing us to host this tournament. I'm sure we all agree it's been a great success. It's been a wonderful week and we've seen some outstanding basketball. We'd like to thank all the coaches, all the players for the sportsmanship and the competition we've seen. Congratulations to the finalists, North Harbour and Waikato for the girls, and of course, Auckland Counties, Nakao, and for the boys. Congratulations to the two winners, North Harbour and a well-deserved Auckland Counties Manukau. It is clear from the standard of all games that New Zealand basketball really is in good shape and looks good for certain success in the future. You'll appreciate Tournaments like these don't organise themselves. So as an association, we'd like to pass our thanks to our own people, especially Francis Tilly, who has worked tirelessly all week, and uh, also the other volunteers, referees, scorers on the bench, timekeepers, and everyone else who has so generously given up their time. We'd also like to thank the Turf Hotel, who have generously this week uh, provided eating meals for the referees and each of the teams. So uh, in closing from the association, again, just our final thanks and our best wishes to all the players, their families and supporters. We wish you all safe travel homes and thank you again. We look forward to seeing you again in Nelson. Thanks, Tony. Uh, and again, Tony is the Vice Chair of Nelson Basketball Association. Um, now I'd like to bring up Melanie Whelans, and she'd like to say a few words on behalf of ba Basketball New Zealand. On behalf of Basketball New Zealand, I would like to thank you all for attending the 2016 Under-19 National Championships. We have all been fortunate to be a part of four days of basketball, which has been played in great spirit. A tournament like this does not occur without the willingness of an association to host it. Thank you to Nelson Basketball for once again taking on this tournament. The time and effort that Tilly, Steve and their volunteers have put in has been very much appreciated. I would also like to add a special thank you once again to the Turf Hotel who did kindly feed the teams and referees the panel this tournament. Speaking from the referee's perspective, it is fantastic to come to a tournament knowing that at the end of a demanding day, there is a meal available to you. To Ken and his team of trainers and referees, thank you all. Overall, we have been very pleased with the standard of officiating at this tournament. To the coaches, managers, associations and parents who have all contributed to providing the players with the opportunity to be at this tournament, thank you all. As young players, we do not often recognise the time, money and personal sacrifices that others put in to provide us with playing opportunities. Finally, I would like to thank our live streaming partners, NTEC and New Zealand Herald, who have enabled this tournament to be seen on demand on the Herald website. Thank you to you all for attending and I wish those travelling a safe journey home. Thanks, Melanie. I'd like to now call on Ken Coulson, the Technical Commissioner for the Championships, to award the finals officials with their medals.
For the medal presentation to the officials for the championship women's final, I call on Reese Hamilton and Mariah McCarthy. Well done, guys. And for the championship men's final, I call on Taylor Amundsen and James Campion. Please put your hands together once again for the championship women's and men's finals officials. To present the remaining awards, we invite Natu Tafale to come out here. Natu is our Basketball New Zealand Coaching Director and he will be presenting the awards to, uh, this evening. Now for the 2016 Under-19 National Women's Runner-Up Team, Waikato, could the captain please come forward? Please put your hands together once again for the 2016 Under-19 National Women's Runner-Up Team, Waikato. Now for the 2016 Under-19 National Championship Women's Champion, Harbour. Could the captain please come forward? Shopping. Thank you to Waikato. You guys put up such an incredible game, and it was a really great final. Um, next, big thank you to Basketball New Zealand, Nelson Basketball, the officials, and all the score bench. You guys have done an incredible job this week, and it was so well run, so thank you. Um, then a big thank you to our coach, Justine and Bronwyn over there, also our various managers we've had this season. And lastly, girls, thank you so much for such a good tournament and such a good season. It's been pretty incredible. So. Thank you, everyone. Darcy, Darcy Finnegan, Kula Baudry, Tian Clark, Rosie Davison, Tessa Gush, Katie Jacoby, Georgia Panara, Charlotte Armstrong, Heather Chan, and Tabitha Jenkins. Also, Justine and Bronwyn, who are hiding over there. Um, 
and Jay. Please put your hands together once again for the 2016 Under-19 National Girls Champions, Champions Harbour. Now moving on to the 2016 Under-19 Women's Tournament Team and MVP. Could the following players please come forward? Zara Jillings, Harbour. Kendall Hedemaya, Waikato. Ezra McGoldrick, Canterbury. Katie Daikavi, Harbour. Sterling Walker Pittman, Waikato. Bailey Ransfield, Taranaki. Zaira Pulava, Waikato. Tabitha Jenkins, Harbour. Alyssa Hidawani, Waikato, and Tiana Clark, Harbour. So all players, please remain on court for a photo. But right now, I'll introduce the MVP of the 2016 Under-19 Women's National Championship as Katie Daikabi Harbour. Katie, could you please come forward? Well done, Katie. Okay, and moving on to the men's. Now for the 2016 Under-19 National Men's runner-up team, Canterbury A. Could the captain please come forward? Good job getting here and how luck we fell short. To all the managers, parents, everyone that made sort of what happened, do a really good job and it was a really good week. We look forward to it again sometime soon. Please put your hands together for the 2016 Under-19 National Men's Runner-Up, Canterbury A. Now for the 2016 Under-19 National Championship Men's Champion, Auckland County's Manukau won. Could the captain please come forward? Zan, Tavita, Sae, Kijan, Swafi, Joel, Samson, 
Missy and Caleb. And also Randy back home, he couldn't come, he got sick. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the, our parents for being able to bring us here, supporting us here. Nelson Basketball Association for putting on this event. Uh, I'd like to thank our coaches, both Anthony and Regan. Uh, they did a really good job with us this year. Also, thank the manager, Toledo, uh, for helping us out throughout the season. Thanks. Oh, I'd also like to thank Canterbury. You guys played a really good game. Um, you made a hard competition for us. Thank you as well. Please put your hands together once again for the 2016 Under-19 National Women's Champion, Auckland County's Manukau One. Okay, now for the 2016 Under-19 Men's Tournament Team and MVP. Could the following players please Toby Gillily Canterbury, Samuel Arua, Auckland County's Manukau, Hamish McDonald, Waikato, Sioeli Vaia, sorry about the pronunciation, Auckland County's Manukau, Josh. Aitchison, Otago. <laughs> Sam Lees, Canterbury. <laughs> Isra Simmons, Waikato. <laughs> Zan Leilani. <laughs> Hughes. <laughs> That's the title. Auckland County's Manukau. Matt Bryan, Otago. Matthew Dukes from Canterbury. <laughs> now, all players, please stay on the court. I'll announce the MVP of the 2016 Under-19 Men's, Men's National Championship as Samuel Aruka. Auckland County's Manukau won. Well done, Samuel. Well done to all teams that.